Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in the last video, we saw about if the table is a static one, how to embed in the body of the mill. And today we can see about if the table is a dynamic one, how to embed embed uh, the table inside the body of the mill, not as an attachment. So uh, today we can see about if the rows are changing, if the rows are a dynamic one, how, how to embed all those in a body of the mill. So the steps involved in creating the bot is first we have to open the Excel then log to file will have to open and enter the text logs to the .txt notepad and loop will start for each row in excel then string assign function and loop same log to file and uh, outer loop log to file file open simulate three strokes and connect the email and send the email this is what we have i have shared in the last video you can refer that video for this one and you can subscribe to ch my channel for next updated videos let's move on to the bot I will create a new bot. The table is a dynamic table HTML. What is my first step? First step is open Excel. So go to the view, Excel advance, open my Excel, and this is my Excel. I will embed all this inside the body of the meal and this is a data tape. I will open my excel file. <coughs> then if you want you can give the sheet name, rewrite note, sheet contents header, save. What is my next step? Block to file. <coughs> Block to file. Open your notepad. Open my notepad here. This is the dynamic HTML. This is empty. Here enter the text to log. What we have to enter here is yesterday we saw this HTML tag right? So I will explain like from the HTML till the header. Till the header is a static one. And after the header all the rows are the dynamic one. So from the HTML till the header you can copy it and you can paste it in a new notepad so why i'm doing this one is uh, this i'm going to uh, text enter the text to log before the loop so what is the text is from here to table header tag is a static one after the table header the table row table datas are changing that uh, that all as a dynamic one so i will copy everything till table header make sure only till table header and i can change this one. name position age salary name position position age salary Name question eight salary four one two three four columns are static one and the uh, rows are dynamic one. Okay, I will open another tr. Okay, I will, this is a lock to file. We have to give in the enter text to lock here and make sure you should not give up and existing log file you should give the overwrite to the existing log file if you run this bot next time if you uh, if then if this notepad is having all these data it will happen and it will not overwrite it will get a um, wrong mail so you, you make sure before the loop log file should be overwritten and then save this bot what is my next step log to file and loop open open the loop Here each row in Excel, Excel, Excel advance make so here it's Excel advance mean here also you have to give Excel advance. I will store this in a variable called record Excel row under the type record variable. You now the loop starts. What is the next step? String assign. I'm going to assign this uh, string, this string, record string to a variable. Under the string package, I'm having assign 
here i will uh, the select the source string of the variable or value the source string will be what i have created for the record variable here by index it going to be start from zero what this zero indicates the first column if in, in in this automation anywhere the index will be start from 0 1 2 3 and in the same like row 0 1 2 3 like that it will start from 0 so i will start from the 0 column a as 0 and i am assigning this a a column as, as a name so i will assign this a column to a variable destination variable called name same like this name position age salary position age salary make sure this is zero and next will be the second row this is a b column sorry b column not a row and okay, this is zero this is one and you have to rename this as name position And then one two this excel row this index indicates column name column address zero one two and i will assign this to a age you have to create new variable under the string everything will be under the string and three Age salary. This name uh, need not to be same like this one. You can give any name. And for the reference purpose, I am giving the same like name, position, age. It indicates the column, not the specific name you have given here. You can give any name. I mean, just for reference, I am giving name, position, age, salary. I assign Excel row. It's going to loop through each row and I'm it, it going to store it in a record variable called Excel row. And that Excel row record variable, I'm I'm assigning that Excel row variable to a name, destination string variable. Then only we can call this inside the TRTD tags. Then what is the next step? Lock to fail. <coughs> log to file. I will copy this. Okay. Make sure this log to file should be inside the loop and I will delete this. The same txt file and here enter the text to log we have to give. This one is a static one. After this trtd tag is going to be a dynamic one. For that I will study video I we, we created all this now. So td tags only take only one td tag and copy paste it inside this one delete all this here for in the first td so this row we have created in the before the loop we have created the th tags and after the loop we are going to create all this one so how to do this this in the under the name it's going to be stored all this uh, data in, inside the variable called what I have created the variable name variable. All this a column variable going to be stored under the variable called name and position under the variable called position. So I created four, four variable it will store everything and I am going to call name position age salary inside this one. I will put dollar dollar. First one is name position Same like H H salary. That's all. Okay, like this. There are there are four four columns. Name, question, H salary, name, question, H salary. Then make sure this are closed. Okay, now what is th this step is over. I'm going to same lock to file after the loop. No. Copy this and paste it, bring it outside the loop and I will delete this. So this is a third uh, lock to file first one. This is one inside the loop. 
and this is on outside the loop and then the text to loop what you have to give here so at the last we have prepared this closing every table this table body header we have to give all this the loop i am going to close everything and after the table i will put one t triggers r p t m p paragraph paragraph this one is our paragraph and i make sure everything is closed so if this is all opened Mm, here they are open table open everything has been closed perfectly we can give the color here the header th tag for the header alone i'm giving the tr style as background color yellow green color the text color will be white and just for th tag alone i'm giving the colors if you want you can give here also if you, want, you can give inside the td tags also you can give and after that outside the loop i'm going to close everything <laughs> and make sure in the first log file you have to override the file and the second one you have to append why we have to append after this file is open and appending everything after this it will not it should not override the same file it should append the file make sure this is clicked and also the next one also append file if it, if you give override everything will every code will be gone and only this will overwrite the file make sure this is append file my next step is file open i will open the file here file. and the file package will have an open open option i will open the same text document okay save it what is the next step simulate keystrokes keystrokes i'm going to open the application of the dynamic html table make sure application refresh it refreshing it make sure the dynamic html not this one html notepad and i will give the keystroke as Control A, Control Small A. Make sure it gives Small A, and then it, it's going to copy everything and Control C. Just make sure it's Notepad and Keystrokes. Okay. What is my next step? Is connect and send email. Email address. Connect. Send. In this connect make sure email session and outlook send email uh, address i gave my address and the subject name make sure html then you have to press f2 here click the clipboard variable this is an inbuilt variable for automation anywhere it will it's cut control a then it's going to copy everything and it's going to paste everything in the message box this will be outlook i will save it i will close everything mm. Okay. okay, my board is ready to run. Opening spreadsheet, look comment, keystrokes. Okay, it's copied everything and it sent mail to me. Okay, this is how the mail will look like. <coughs> okay. Hi everyone, space, please find the below and my miss table here. This one. The email is looking good here. You can have uh, your own color inside the table also. So the steps involved, you can note it down. Just I'm opening Excel, lock to file, loop, loop through each row in Excel. I'm assigning all the columns in a name of name, string name, call name position, and I'm bringing all this inside the TR tags, TD tags, 
make sure it's up and here also up and and the final one so, you know my bot is good and thank you subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends thank you bye